Okay, ready? <coughs> Shut up, bud. <laughs> Let's go. How's it going, guys? My name's Caleb, and this is my wife, Kayla. This is like the 20th time we've tried to do this video. Actually, it's the 21st time we've tried to do this video. <laughs> the last one we had a cicada screaming at us. I guess that's part of being in the south. But anyway, we're Buffalo Creek Outdoors. Uh, we're from North Carolina. Uh, we're pumped to be in the full draw film tour. It's been uh, a three year journey for me and uh, just for this film in general. Um, hopefully you're, you enjoy some crazy action because I think you're in for a treat on this video. Uh, I don't know what overcame me when the moment happened, but I, I lost it on the side of the mountain. So, uh, hopefully you enjoy it. I really enjoyed making it. It's blessed my life. And that's kind of the whole concept behind Buffalo Creek Outdoors is just to inspire people and bless people through our content. Uh, we're here to inspire people to do the same thing I'm doing and traveling from the East coast not knowing a thing about elk hunting, going out west and experiencing uh, what God's created for us. So hopefully you're inspired by this video. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the video and uh, hopefully you get a good laugh out of it. So we appreciate you guys watching and we're pumped for y'all to watch this. As men, we are taught to control our emotions. That real men don't cry. In the military, we're trained to control our emotions by something they call military bearing. With that in mind, imagine that this is your 23rd day elk hunting, that for the past two seasons, you have spent a combined 22 days in the backcountry of Colorado, hunting some of the most unforgiving country in the lower 48, and that for 22 unsuccessful days, you have pushed your body, mind, and soul to their limits and have yet to punch a tag. Imagine that now, on the 23rd day, you're at full draw, finger on the release, and the only thing between you and your dream is 14 yards of empty space. What would your emotions be? Go kill an ale. It's hard to put into words what elk hunting means to me and what it has done for me. It's honestly changed who I am as a man. A dream that started from a born and raised outdoors video I watched while deployed to the Middle East has now turned into a three year journey in which I have experienced the highest and lowest points in my life. We made our first trip west from North Carolina to Colorado in September of 2018. And after 12 days in the back country, and three encounters with bull elk under 35 yards with nothing to show for it. I'll never forget the immense feeling of defeat and the overwhelming emotions of an experience I knew would last my lifetime. Well, Colorado ate our lunch. No elk. We hunted hard. We gave it our all. And, uh, 
we're better men for it. Man, I'm getting emotional. The next year seemingly flew by, as all I had on my mind was returning to Colorado to chase my dream. So once again in September of 2019, my buddy Nathan and I returned to complete our goal. That year Colorado smacked us in the mouth and showed us real quick that we weren't quite the backcountry elk hunters we thought we were. We were met with temps near 100 degrees, more people than elk, and not one opportunity at an elk inside a bow range in a 10 day hunt. Starting to get kind of down and out. You know, it's elk hunting's a dang marathon, that's for dang sure. It don't happen quick, but anyway, we're uh, trying to stay up on our spirits. We're hoping those big bulls that came out last night will come out this evening. Uh, we was getting pretty down there for a little while today. Yeah. Sitting out in the sun all dang day flies long. Flies flying around. Yeah. I probably killed 15 flies. <laughs> today is September 5th, 2020. My buddy Wayne and I have never hunted together. It's the first day of our hunt. The first hour of our hunt. And we have packed and prepared for the next five to six days fully expecting to work harder than ever to finally find that success.
After experiencing the hardest journey of my life over the prior two seasons and 22 days, here I am on the first day, in the first hour, at our first sit. I have prepared for this moment for three years. I've prayed, and I've dreamed about it every night. All the emotions and memories of this journey begin to flood in. My heart begins to beat. My legs begin to shake. And my vision begins to blur until the only things left in the world are me, an elk, and 14 yards of empty space. He just piled up. He just got a perfect shot in that bull. He's piled up 20 yards from here. <laughs> That's such a weight lifted off my shoulders. I told you. Oh, oh I told you. Thank you, Lord, and thank you, Mount Betty. Thank you to my wife. Oh. I told you. I told you I was gonna break down. That's all right. Oh. Uh, dude, Holy cow. And we have it two and a half miles from the truck. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. That's the best part. Oh, 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 oh I gotta calm down. Oh, 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 oh. We got a freaking elk down. We watched him fall on the side of the mountain in Colorado. Oh, 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 oh. I told you it was gonna work. I just knew it. Day one. We, I mean, we've been hunting for two hours. <laughs> nope. I hunted this spot two years ago, and I saw elk here every day that I hunted, and I knew 8.30 is 8.37. <laughs> I knew it. I just center punched him. The mall Betty era did it again. Oh, man, I'm just, I don't even know what to say. Ooh, I gotta call my wife. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying. Hello? I got a bull on the ground. <laughs> Oh yeah, the bull on the ground, I'm telling you. We watched him fall. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my gosh, Dave, I'm so happy for you. I'm so thankful for you for letting me come out here. I told you it was going to be your year. As we stand here, and I put my hands on my first elk, I am reminded of something my wife told me in the same spot in 2018. She said God has a plan for all of this. What started with a born and raised outdoors video has now turned into a three year life changing journey that has touched more lives than I could have ever imagined and has changed me in a way that I will never forget. Hey, this is my first time I've ever seen elk up close and couldn't imagine any better than being on the ground. Oh my gosh! Oh my lord, I'm trying to get home. Oh, he's out here on the floor. Dave, that's so good! I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! I got one! Oh no! Oh, is it a doe? <laughs> you see it? Yeah. 
All right. Y'all be careful. All right. Thanks. All right. Love All right. Love All right. Love y'all. All right. Bye. Bye. Uh, you bringing hello. Okay. <laughs> Bull on the ground, baby. I told Bree at the house. I didn't tell her this the last two years, but I told Bree at the house last, last night for coming. I said, I feel, I have a feeling Caleb's going to shoot one this year. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I was gone. And then you smoked one. I had to call Keith and grass, dude. First freaking day, ain't it? Yeah, we ain't been up here in this spot an hour. Yeah. I knew it. I knew. I did not want to jinx you. I knew when you were up shot there down, I knew it was going to happen. I just knew it. Something told me it was. If you've ever questioned what hunting is all about, it's about family, friends, and adventure. It's not about the kill, but the journey it took to get there and the lessons learned along the way. Live your life to the fullest and use your passions to bless others. This is what elk hunting is all about.